Hello everybody, I'm Francesco Caban from Movement Monastery and today we're going to learn how to do... A cart pull. Alright everybody, so real quick, if you haven't learned how to do a cartwheel rebound, cartwheel rebound into a back tuck or cartwheel rebound Arabian, I suggest you subscribe because I'm going to be posting how to do those things in the next video. So you're going to need that prerequisite to be able to do this particular kind of stuff. Now we'll go over some basic things that will help you with that, but for the most part we're going to be focusing on if you already have those prerequisites figured out. And the first thing you have to consider is what type of a cartwheel rebound do you already know how to do? Is your cartwheel rebound a more gymnastic style setup where you're going straight forward and linear? Is your cartwheel rebound more of a sideways setup where you're traveling sideways and then rebounding sideways? Or is it a hybrid of the two where you're starting off forwards and then ending up a quarter turn sideways? So first of all, you have to figure out which one of those is gonna be your setup or that you already know how to do. That's gonna make it a lot easier to learn the next part of this thing, which is how you're going to twist. Now, regardless of that, you can still get this skill so long as you can look over your shoulder or underneath your armpit and see the ground behind you. That's gonna be a crucial part of being able to finish the twist and land on your feet. Let's go over the traditional setup first and talk about the ways to work with that. With the traditional setup, you wanna make sure you can do your back flip or back tuck without grabbing your legs. So you have to have a rebound, stand up tall, and then be able to flip over without grabbing. I also would make sure that you're squeezing your legs together and feet together, because it will really aid with your twist and you won't get lost within the, the skill as easily. So really focus on doing your back flip, feet and knees together, and without grabbing a hold. Here's a demonstration. So ideally, you wanna be able to get that height, that shoulder drive backward, and then pulling the feet over the top. The more extended you can keep your body throughout this skill, the more power you have into that skill, the easier it's gonna be for you to twist and make this stronger for you. Because you're not gonna to have to do it from a tuck position, which even though it's very possible and people do it all the time, it's still a little harder for you to spin from. So first of all, figure out that. Now, if you're doing this from the sideways setup, the same rules apply. You wanna make sure you can do whatever flip you're doing without grabbing your legs. So if you're doing a side flip, as you come up, try to side flip without grabbing your legs. Again, knees together, feet together, will make this work better for your spinning. Uh, same thing for your Arabian. If you're doing an Arabian style one, and you can come around, do your cartwheel, set, look the direction you're going, and do your Arabian that way, you wanna do it without grabbing your legs. So here's some demonstrations of those. Okay, so you saw me do my side flip without grabbing my legs and also do my Arabian without grabbing my legs. The Arabian feels kind of weird because you really have to make sure you have a strong drive of the heels to pull yourself over to be able to feel that. Ideally with either of these skills, you want to learn how to do the heel drive setup. What is heel drive? I will show you a little drill for that and what it feels like when you're doing this skill. So heel drive is something that has to happen right after you shoulder drive. If you're coming into a side flip and you go into your rebound, you're driving with the shoulders and the second you come off the ground, then you're driving with your heels over. It would be something like one, two, I would bring my shoulders up and over, then my heels would drive to the side. Only when you actually do the skill, you drive your heels through the whole entire skill. Same thing for an Arabian or a front flip, you're driving your heels the direction you want to flip. So, as I come up and over for my Arabian, I would then push both my legs back or behind me. I'm not gonna do it right now because I would land flat on my face on the ground. But there's two exercises you can do to actually help out with that, and I'm gonna show you them right here on a bench. Okay, so here we are at a bench. This is gonna show you how to get the heel drive when you're doing your front flips or side flips. Now I will make a whole other video that describes in great detail what this is and go through a more slow motion style area. So make sure you subscribe for that one because that's going to be one of my next videos. Heel drive drill. Lay down your stomach, hips over the edge, grab a hold of the bench. From there you're going to lift your legs up behind you, your feet, squeeze your legs together and feel how it lifts you up when you swing it up high. You really want to make sure you feel your hips lift up at the end of that. Otherwise, you're not really completing it. So if you only go this far, it's not really gonna do anything for you, okay? 
We really want to kick those heels up hard and feel yourself lifting up. As hard as possible. For side flips, you can lay on your side on the bench like this. Ah, sideways like that and then pull your heels up to the side of your body. Again, that one's a little bit harder, mainly because our bodies fold front and back a lot easier than they fold sideways. So it's a lot harder to feel that, that motion of your body doing that. But regardless of that, it still will help you get some idea of how that works. Um, another way, if you don't have a bench to do that, is to lay flat on your stomach. Grab something, and just lift your legs up like that. Or you can do um, arch rocks, where you're swinging your legs up behind you. You can also do that sideways, where you're here and you swing your legs up to the side. So there's a lot of options you can do to develop that heel drive. Just mainly get your head into your heels, feel that they're lifting and they're kind of making you rock. Now the next thing I need you to focus on is do you have a front half, a 180 or an aerial twist? Anything that's forward and makes you do a half twist. Either one of those is gonna be very useful for you. It doesn't matter if you can do it off something or if you can do it on flat ground. The point is, do you know how to half twist, all right? There's another way to do it as well, a butterfly twist, but I strongly recommend you have your aerial twist or you have your front half, front branny, either one of those figured out prior to doing this. It will help you with your landing. It'll make your cart folds look more vertical and allow you to get more of that flippy look instead of the sideways look that a lot of them look like, which is fine too, I do them all the time, but just keep in mind if that's what you're going after, that look, let's face it, skills and tricks they're about looking a certain way that's why they have names that's what differentiates them between one thing to the next so it's okay to do that so let's take a look at if you have your aerial twist or you have your front half remember i said you can do it off anything so long as you have your front half so i'm going to show this i don't have to do a whole lot of effort here to get my height i just have the half twisting issue going on here i'm going to do an aerial twist and a front half so you can see what i mean Okay, so like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty yet. You can go ahead and just have your aerial twist, your front half, off something high, and so long as you're understanding that twisting mechanics and you're getting your feet underneath you, that's the main thing behind it. I will have information out about front twisting or tilt twisting and how that works, but that's another video. So again, all this stuff we're teaching right now is very complex maneuvers. and. I have other videos coming your way that are going to explain those different parts of these skills for you to get a better understanding of how these works. If this works for you and you've already gone through those prerequisites, then this is going to be great. You're going to get there real quick and that's awesome. But I know a lot of people are struggling with this skill and need a bit of help. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comment below and stay tuned because we're going to have some great stuff coming up that's going to show you how to master your twisting and really get into the mechanics of everything. Okay, pause. Real quick, we gotta talk about something. Once you have your brand new or any half twist, butterfly twist, aerial twist, any of those things, and you have your half twist going backwards, which could be from a sideways cartwheel into a side flip, it could be a cartwheel into an Arabian, any one of those things, right? Once you have those two components there, this is where we get some gray area because oftentimes people will go for their first cart full and they'll just ragdoll it around and do a full twist and then make it just because they have, they got lucky, all right? Or their feet know how to heel drive or they know how to flip over. And for a lot of people that will be just fine. But uh, some people get kind of stuck in limbo here. And just like with the core screw tutorial, when we talked about learning how to quarter twist your way through twisting, the same thing applies with this. So if you are doing this from an Arabian setup, then you're gonna to wanna to try to do an Arabian and when you're about to land your Arabian, do a quarter twist out of it. That's probably one of the best things you could do to start going toward your full twist out of a cartwheel. Or if you're doing your side flip, right? You do your side flip, you come up, and you're gonna do maybe a half twist and try and face the opposite direction. So if you took off in a side flip like this, you do a half twist and face the opposite direction. If you're doing your Arabian and you come up and you're turning here, when you come out of your Arabian without grabbing your legs, you're gonna finish facing the opposite direction. This is going to really help tune up your proprioception of where you are in your twist and it's 
it's not gonna overload you, so you for, don't forget to heel drive your legs over. And that's the really important part of this, to make this safe, and that you don't get frustrated by having to keep falling, 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 because you're twisting too much. I'm telling you from experience, don't do that, all right? Really focus on, are you flipping, are you heel driving? And then focus on doing quarter twisting from there. So even though I showed all these, all these things before, and how to do that twisting and you know if you, you're supposed to do a layout and half twist it's not going to all, all make sense if you just try to huck it over a few times sure that can help you learn a little bit but the more important thing is can you keep training i'm 34 now i'm still doing this stuff i've been through a lot of injuries and i'm still here and i'm still able to do all this stuff and i want everyone to be able to keep tricking and flipping and acrobatic and all that kind of stuff for a long time so take it slow and build up that foundation and have your training be about the process and not about just, I have to accomplish this skill. I have to get it, ooh, I have to get this skill. It's not about that. It's really about getting these little parts along the way and have that be the goal, the little parts along the way. And then you get the skill because of that. It's a consequence. Skills are a consequence of little tiny things along the way that build up to it. It's not just about that single skill. Because after that skill, there's another skill to learn anyway. Anyway, here's some slow motion clips for that. Guys, thank you for watching. And I just wanted to say, if you like it, please subscribe to it, leave a comment, and as always, catch you on the flip side.